evidence-based practice is defined as 1. Nursing care based on tradition 2. Scholarly inquiry of nursing and biomedical research literature 3. A problem-solving approach that integrates best current evidence with clinical practice 4. Quality nursing care provided in an efficient and economically sound manner. Answer 3. A problem-solving approach that integrates best current evidence with clinical practice rationale. Evidence-based practice integrates best current evidence with clinical expertise and patient, family preferences and values for delivery of optimal health care. A nurse understands informed consent when making which of the following statements? A. Informed consent is a binding agreement. B. Informed consent involves filling out an incident report. C. Informed consent occurs when the patient receives information about a procedure before giving consent. D. Informed consent is a name for a written legal policy. Answer. Circa. Informed consent occurs when the patient receives information about a procedure before giving consent. Rationale. Informed consent in the healthcare setting is a process whereby a patient is informed of the risks, benefits, and alternatives of a certain procedure and then gives consent for it to be done. Informed consent is not a binding agreement, an incident report, or a written legal policy. When recruiting subjects to participate in a study about the effects of an exercise program on balance, the researcher provides full and complete information about the purpose of the study and gives the subjects the choice to participate or not participate in the study. This is an example of 1. Bias. 2. Anonymity. 3. Confidentiality. 4. Informed consent. Answer. 4. Informed consent. Rationale. The process of informed consent includes providing research subjects full disclosure about the study and provides the subject the opportunity to participate or not to participate in the study. Nurses on a pediatric nursing unit are discussing ways to improve patient care. One nurse asks a colleague, I wonder how best to measure pain in a child who has sickle cell disease. This question is an example of A and 1. Hypothesis. 2. Picket question. 3. Problem focus trigger. 4. Knowledge focus trigger. Answer. 4. Knowledge focus trigger. Rationale. Knowledge focus triggers are questions about information available on a specific topic. The nurses on a medical unit have seen an increase in the number of pressure ulcers that develop in their patients. They decide to initiate a quality improvement project using the PDSA model. Which of the following is an example of do from that model? 1. Implement the new skin care protocol on all medicine units. 2. Review the data collected on patients cared for using the protocol. 3. Review that she reports on the six patients who developed ulcers over the last three months. 4. Based on findings from patients who developed ulcers, implement an evidence-based skin care protocol. Answer 1. Implement the new skin care protocol on all medicine units. Rationale. In the due step, the nurse selects an intervention and implements it. A nurse researcher interviews parents of children who have diabetes and asks them to describe how they deal with their child's illness. The analysis of the interviews yields common themes and stories describing the parents' coping strategies. This is an example of which type of study? 1. Historical 2. Qualitative 3. Correlational 4. Experimental. Answer 2. Qualitative rationale. The data in this study were collected during interviews. Information from the interviews was used to describe common themes and experiences of the parents. These are characteristics of qualitative research. A nurse researcher decides to complete a study to evaluate how Florence Nightingale improved patient outcomes in the Crimean War. 
This is an example of what type of research? 1. Historical 2. Evaluation 3. Exploratory 4. Experimental. Answer 1. Historical rationale. Historical studies establish facts concerning past events. A group of nurses on the research council of a local hospital are measuring nursing sensitive outcomes. Which of the following is a nursing sensitive outcome that the nurses need to consider measuring? 1. Incidence of asthma among children of parents who smoke 2. Frequency of low blood sugar episodes in children at a local school 3. Number of patients who've fallen experience subsequent injury on the evening shift 4. Number of sexually active adolescent girls who attend the community-based clinic for birth control. Answer 3. Number of patients who have fallen experience subsequent injury on the evening shift rationale. Nursing sensitive outcomes are outcomes that are sensitive to nursing care. A nurse researcher is developing a research proposal and is in the process of selecting an instrument to measure anxiety. In which part of the research process is this nurse? 1. Analyzing the data. 2. Designing the study. 3. Conducting the study. 4. Identifying the problem. Answer 2. Designing the study rationale. During study design, the researcher selects instruments to measure variables. A group of staff nurses notice an increased incidence of medication errors on the run. After further investigation, it is determined that the nurses are not consistently identifying the patient correctly. A change is needed quickly. What type of quality improvement method would be most appropriate? 1. PDSA 2. 6 Sigma 3. Rapid Improvement Event 4. A Randomized Controlled Trial. Answer 3. Rapid Improvement Event Rationale. Rapid improvement events are appropriate to use when a serious problem that affects patient outcomes exists and needs to be resolved quickly. Every healthcare organization gathers data on health outcomes. Examples of key quality of care or performance indicators include A. Discharges B. Medications administered C. Healthy births D. Infection rates Answer D. Infection rates Rationale Quality Improvement Data a nurse is providing care to a patient who is experiencing major abdominal trauma following a car accident. The patient is losing blood quickly and needs a blood transfusion. The nurse finds out that the patient is a Jehovah's Witness and cannot have blood transfusions because of religious beliefs. He or she notifies the patient's health care provider and receives an order to give the patient an alternative to blood products. This is an example of one. A quality improvement study. 2. An evidence-based practice change. 3. A time when calling the hospital's ethics committee is essential. 4. Considering the patient's preferences and values while providing care. Answer 4. Considering the patient's preferences and values while providing care. Rationale. Providing evidence-based practice requires that you take the patient's values and beliefs into consideration while providing care. A group of staff educators are reading a research study together at a journal club meeting. While reviewing the study, one of the nurses state that it evaluates if newly graduated nurses progress through orientation more effectively when they participate in patient simulation exercises. Which part of the research process is reflected in this nurse's statement? 1. Introduction 2. Purpose Statement 3. Methods 4. Results Answer 2. Purpose Statement Rationale. The purpose statement includes research questions or hypotheses predictions made about the relationship or difference between study variables concepts characteristics or traits that vary within or among subjects. 
A research study is investigating the following research question. What is the effect of the diagnosis of breast cancer on the roles of the family? In this study, the diagnosis of breast cancer and family roles are examples of 1. Surveys 2. The sample 3. Variables 4. Data collection points. Answer 3. Variables rationale. Variables are concepts, characteristics, or traits that vary within or among subjects. A nurse who works in a newborn nursery asks, I wonder if the moms who breastfeed their babies would be able to breastfeed more successfully if we played peaceful music while they were breastfeeding. In this example of a picket question, the I is 1. Breastfeeding moms. 2. Infants 3. Peaceful music. 4. The nursery. Answer 3. Peaceful music. Rationale. The intervention in this picket question is playing peaceful music. Research studies can most easily be identified by 1. Examining the contents of the report. 2. Looking for the study on in research journals. 3. Reading the abstract and introduction of the report. 4. Looking for the word research in the title of the report. Answer 3. Reading the abstract and introduction of the report rational together. The abstract and introduction tell you if the topic of the article is similar to your picket question or related closely enough to provide you with useful info. A research report includes all of the following except 1. The researcher's interpretation of the study results. 2. A description of methods used to conduct the study. 3. A summary of other research studies with the same result. 4. A summary of literature used to identify the research problem. Answer 3. A summary of other research studies with the same result. Rationale. The summary details the results of the study and explains whether the hypothesis is supported. The results of other studies are not presented. Practice guidelines for the treatment of adults with low back pain is an example of 1. Clinical guidelines 2. Quantitative nursing research 3. Outcomes management research 4. A randomized controlled trial RCT. Answer 1. Clinical guidelines rationale. Clinical guidelines are systematically developed statements about a plan of care for a specific set of clinical circumstances involving a specific patient population. A nurse researcher conducts a study that randomly assigns 100 patients who smoke and attend a wellness clinic into two groups. One group receives the standard smoking cessation handouts. The other group takes part in a new educational program that includes a smoking cessation support group. The nurse plans to compare the effectiveness of the standard treatment with the educational program. What type of a research study is this? 1. Qualitative 2. Descriptive 3. Correlational 4. Randomized controlled trial. Answer 4. Randomized controlled trial rationale. This is a randomized controlled trial because patients are randomly assigned into the control or treatment group. A group of nurses have implemented an evidence-based practice EVP change and have evaluated the effectiveness of the change. Their next step is to 1. Conduct a literature review. 2. Share the findings with others. 3. Conduct a statistical analysis. 4. Create a well-defined picket question. Answer 2. Share the findings with others. Rationale. After completing an EVP project and evaluating its effectiveness, it is important to communicate the results with others. A nurse conducted a literature review on effective methods for patient teaching. Based on the literature search, the nurse develops a unit-based protocol for using the teach-back method when providing patient teaching. This is an example of which quality and safety in the education of nurses QSEN competency. A. P. 
patient-centered care be at safety C, teamwork and collaboration D, evidence-based practice. Answer D, evidence-based practice.